Hey guys, welcome to Start a Skull Crochet. This is Tasha. We're going to work through the stitch pattern for the color scarf, and this is the color scarf, which I love. It's a chunky scarf. It, cre it mixes uh, two different strands of landscapes by Lion Brand. And you can choose any colors you'd like. We've got tassels going on, and for the tassels I used um, Yarn Bee Soft Secret, and these are just real easy, just cut about, you know, I think I did about 20, maybe 19, 20 inches, and then uh, doubled them over and put them inside like that. So let's get started. Grab your hook and your yarn. I used two different colors, actually three different colors. So you want to choose a main color that you're going to use throughout the whole scarf and then an accent. You can do two accents. It takes four skeins and you can do two accents. So I think I did Desert Spring. I ended up using three different colors total because actually it's a stash buster. I wanted to bust my stash and I, this was the perfect project for that. So I used Coral Reef and I used um, two skeins of Meadow and then one skein of Desert Spring. So I have a 6.5 millimeter hook here and I've got my two strands ready. So to start, we're gonna do a half double crochet foundation row. To do that, you create a slip knot with both of your strands. Then we're going to do a regular half double crochet, which I chained three to start. Then we're going to insert your hook into the first chain. I'm sorry, yarn over first, insert your hook into the first chain, grab your yarn and pull up. And we're doing a foundation, so we're going to chain one through the first, grab onto those bottom two loops, yarn over and chain through all three. So there's your first half double crochet. To do the second one, you yarn over, insert your hook through those two bottom loops of that chain, grab your yarn, pull up a loop, then you're going to chain one, grab onto them, yarn over and pull through all three. So we're going to work 10 for this sample and in the pattern you work 172. Here I have 10 foundation single crochet, so I've got 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10. You can work this scarf in any even number and you'll be good. So to do row two, this is considered row one because we did our chain and our foundation or our half double crochet row in the same. So we're going to chain two for row two. We're going to turn our work. We're going to skip our first half double crochet and we're going to work a half double crochet into the second half double crochet like that. Then we're going to go back into our skip stitch through the front. This is where you need to work loose. Grab your yarn and pull it up and then you're just going to tug it. You want this, this part in front to be very loose because it creates a nice little V pattern once you get going. So then we're going to skip this one. We're going to go half double crochet into the next and that is our simple repeat pattern through the whole entire scarf. It's very easy. Go back through that skipped half double crochet, pull it up, and you see it creates a very loose pattern on top. Skip one, half double in the next. The first half double of your pattern doesn't have to be too loose. The second one, this one, does. Skip one, work into the next. And you're working with two pieces of yarn, so make sure you get them both each time. So here we're coming to the end. We're going to skip that one. We're going to work a half double into the very last half double crochet, yarn over, and then go into the skipped stitch. And that should be our 10 stitches for this row. So we've got two, four, six, eight, ten. And I'm counting the chain two as part of that. So it actually actually no, it's actually the stitch. It just looks like the chain two. So it's a two, four, six, eight, ten. 
So for row three, it's going to be a little different. We're going to chain two, turn. For this row, we're going to skip the first and the second stitch and then work a half double into the third. This offsets it just a little bit. Then you repeat your pattern and go back into the skipped stitch, the first skip, or the second skipped stitch. Then we're gonna skip one, half double in the next. Skip one, half double in the next. Skip one, half double. Then go into the skipped stitch. So here we're at the end. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna skip that last stitch and we're gonna work a half double into the chain. Then we're gonna go back into that last stitch of the row and do our last half double crochet. That should put us back up to 10. So we've got two, four, six, eight, and 10. And the next one, we're gonna, we're gonna do our repeat. This is gonna be our repeat row. Actually, we're gonna do another row. So just chain two, turn. And then this, this, is, this row here will be our repeat row. So you skip the first one. You just do your repeat pattern, skipping one, half double crochet in the next, half double crochet into the skipped stitch. That is your pattern for the rest of the entire scarf. Skip one, half double in the next. Go back through, and you can see the colors starting to change. Oh, I love it. That's why I love this scarf. It's so pretty. And you can see it kind of makes a V, a V pattern like this. So you continue working this row, maintain your stitch count throughout our sample. So here we're gonna skip this one and work into the last. Maintain your stitch count, make sure you count them, that you have 172 or however many you chose. So we've got two, four, six, eight, and 10. Got my 10. So you're going to repeat this row here until you reach eight rows total, including your foundation row. So I've got one, two, three, four. So it really works up fast, and that's why I was saying that it works up really fast. And then our last row, after you complete eight of them, you're gonna do just chain two, turn, and work a regular half double crochet row until you get to the other side. So that is, that's it. It's simple, you guys, really simple. So you can see I have here, got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think that was it. Whoops, did I count that wrong? I think I counted it wrong. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, yes, eight. So it's actually eight, excluding the foundation row. So you're gonna do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then you're gonna do a half double crochet and then this is our foundation row. And for the tassels, those are just really easy. Um, I'm not sure if you know how to do tassels or not, but I went through the base of each of the V's. So I have a total of one, two, three, four, five, six tassels. And to do a tassel, you just, you cut your yarn, then you fold it over, you insert it through, and then insert your tails through the hole and pull it tight. And that's it. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please leave a comment below. If you have any questions, join my pattern support group on Facebook called Stardust Gold Crochet and Friends. Uh, leave a comment below, subscribe, hit the little like button, and share. Please share away.